Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Virgo, how are you guys doing? Let's see what messages will show up for you guys, Virgo. <clears throat> in case this reading resonates with you, Virgo, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below for you guys, okay? Now let's see what messages want to show up for you. What I'm getting here is that, first of all, I'm seeing changes in your relationships, okay? So... Hmm... Yeah, I'm seeing changes in your relationship. There could be a partner coming along for you, but I feel like there's like this dreamy energy, okay? There's like, ooh, getting like very like illusionary energy surrounding your relationship. So I don't know if there's somebody very dreamy coming in your life or that you're getting wooed by them. <laughs> there's something like that, okay? I also feel like some of you are like very intuitive or you could be getting signs and synchronicities and getting, you know, messages from the universe, okay? Like you could be into tarot maybe or astrology, I don't know, but there's apart from that, I kind of feel like in relationships or in your general partnerships, there's a very charming vibe. Like I feel like it is about you as well. Okay? There's something very unexpected like in that department for you. I don't know what exactly it is. I, I sometimes point my finger at it. I also feel like there will be changes in, in yourself. You, you're going to feel uh, very empowered. You may be feeling very empowered these days. And I feel like you will constantly get this urge to try something, to move towards something. I feel like you're going to be very close to your own energy, which is, of course, absolutely beautiful. Now, starting off your reading, you're getting the Sun card here, which is Leo. And in tarot, it is, and generally as well, you know, it is a very happy card. It's a sense of happiness, vitality, a sense of like, okay, I'm open um, to the new, with the garden and the gate. You know, standing there and wishing upon something doesn't really give us what we want. <laughs> okay, so that is where taking action energy comes in. I feel like a lot of you are waiting on some form of a news or you could be waiting to expand on something. With the victory here, I feel like there's success in that. Ooh, I also see good money. There could be people who are envious of you because of that, but oh my god, okay, there is there could be a male influence as well, like this person I, I see makes good money, or this is maybe you, but there's a sense of stability here in your energy. Oh my goodness, look at this, the door to value and the door to romance are together with cornucopia. There is just so much that you're manifesting. Like there is so much on the horizon for you, Virgo, that you don't even see. Some of you are maybe into crystals or into healing, okay? I'm getting that some of you may even be um, meditating, okay? But there's like something very nice and positive about this reading, of course. Um, I am going to read for you the, you know... Um, I'm going to read for you the victory card, the sun card, the garden and the gate and this card towards the end of the reading to clarify the meaning better. But mm, yeah, we will see. All right. Um. Show me what's there for Virgo, please.
I'm not quite sure why is the Hierophant in the reverse though. I'm not quite sure. We would have to see. god nice there's a lot of love showing up here for you by the way also at the bottom of your deck is the page of cups and the chariot some of you may be dealing with a pisces cancer or a scorpio there is love showing up here for you There's somebody on your mind. There is also a very sweet love connection here. Um, if you don't have this person in your life, that I definitely see you connecting with somebody. And when you connect with this person, it's almost like there is instant chemistry between you and them. It's instant, okay? Show me their person's energy. Nine of Cups. The star. The full card. I'm going to be honest with you. This is not... Okay. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is not somebody who's going to chase after you. Okay. This is somebody who is hopeful about starting something with you. But I don't feel like they're going to chase after you. They do, you. they do see you as their wish fulfillment and they're wanting something with you. But, you know, of course, that's a good thing that I, I don't feel like this person's pushy. Um, what's their challenge and advice, please? What is the challenge and advice for Virgo? Oh, my God. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, a new start, a new venture. Probably in regards to your money, you could be doing something new. You could be starting something new and whatever it is there's a lot of passion and in like a sense of enthusiasm behind it okay your challenge here is something about jealousy insecurity that maybe somebody has with you or i don't know you have with somebody i don't know then the eight of pentacles um balance stability working on something Let me tell yourself something. If there's something you're working on or you're thinking about working towards, Spirit is definitely telling you to not give up. Yeah, Spirit is telling you to not give up. So let's see. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Show me. Show me this energy for Cap uh, Virgo, not Capricorn. High Priestess, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like I said before. You're too attracted to somebody. You're so attracted to them that you're hiding it. Now, if you're not doing it, then somebody else could be doing it. I don't know. High Priestess to the Four of Pentacles, you're trying really hard to hold back from something. And it's like your own feelings your own emotions it's it's something that is coming from you like from within you okay whatever it is that you're holding back from i feel like uh, virgo a lot of you are also becoming very secretive okay I feel like Virgo, when it comes to you, you may be also wanting to um, manifest a relationship. Okay, you may be wanting to um, manifest a relationship. Okay. Hmm.
and when it comes to the person on your mind a lot of you are maybe aware that they're wanting you but there, there's somebody who's looking at you like they don't know where you stand because you're being secretive right you're not really telling this person how you're feeling or like you're keeping it to yourself which is absolutely fine of course um Show me the King of Cups here. See, you do have feelings for this person. Queen of Cups. Three of Cups and the Emperor. It's like I have feelings, I have emotions, a much deeper rooted emotion, but I'm going to pretend to, you know, take things slow first. You're wanting to take things slow with this person, okay? I see a lot of focus on communication for you, forward movement, communication, some sort of a news coming in. And I'm hearing the word upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So I don't know what is getting upgraded, your job, yourself, your money, your goals, whatever. There is an energy here of something um, being upgraded. What happened in the past for Virgo, please? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Something like got you really tired, okay? And you closed a cycle here with the Temperance, Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. It's like a focus on oneself. Okay, your independence. It's like you were like, you know what? Right now I'm better off focusing on myself and building myself than this. What is the Two of Cups? There's a lot of attraction here and somebody's also speaking their truth like, hey, I'm really attracted to you, let's do this. I don't know if it's you or this person. There's, I like it because we don't really see it often in readings and please just click off if this doesn't resonate for you because like I feel like people are so conditioned to like see bad stuff that whenever good stuff comes up they're like nope that's not me leave it for somebody else then okay who doesn't like write, like a good reading um it looks like there's focus on communication there's also lots of love and attraction between you and somebody but it, it's like somebody's also busy playing it cool and i told you that about your person as well that i don't see them chasing after you okay you, you see like this eight of wands has been a constant for you like so especially when it comes to your money and stuff like i don't know what has been stuck for you or what feels stagnant to you things in your life i feel like are going to come into this energy of equilibrium okay it's like things will start to get better for you again from what i'm seeing okay hmm What's the two of wands in the future? We're already pretty clear that there's going to be communication. Some of you will also be thinking about making investments in money. There's a decision that is going to be, going to be made and a new beginning, okay? You keep getting the Ace of Pentacles again. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely some sort of a new start or a new beginning here that I see for you. Um... And also that I see you focused on. Show me more. What's this decision about? This could also be some sort of a legal decision that will go in your favor. Especially if this, if there's something you've been waiting on. Give me their person's energy. 
and of course a more in-depth reading about your person will be in the description box is there like are there two different people here because there's somebody who may have other options or who may have caused drama it looks like you're avoiding that person and over here there's a lot of attraction between you and somebody so i don't know if this is two different people or if this is the same person but whoever this person here is they're a little bit scared of rejection on your end okay or from your end okay there is a sense of confusion a sense of choices i don't know like i feel like there were other people involved in the equation it's like a, a messed up situation in the pause that you got tired of giving into however this person is very much still interested in you but over here with the two of cups and then the four uh the king of cups it's like there's a lot of love and attraction between you and somebody and with the page of uh cups here it's also looking like there's a new person who is uh, maybe interested in you. Nine of Cups. Happiness. Some of you have also recently gotten over a habit, like maybe you drink or smoke or something like that, that you're trying to get over <clears throat> or trying to like stop, okay? What's the, what's the, hmm, what's the king, uh, queen of pentacles reverse for their challenge i feel like it's about a relationship or something that has to do with your feelings that's making you feel insecure and making you feel not very stable i also feel like there's somebody you dealt with who really made false promises and empty promises i should say What is the hmm. Eight of Pentacles for their advice? What is something you're stressed out about? It's like spirit is telling you to do something or go do something about the situation if it is in your control. If this is something that's not in your control, then leave it be. Now, if, t if I were to conclude this reading, of course, I see a lot of focus on love here and some sort of a new opportunity in your money too. But more focus on love. Okay? There's also an energy of you getting a lot of um, like attention from people. So let's see. The Sun card, new beginnings and cre great creativity. See? Okay, your challenge here maybe also had something to do with your creative side. Uh, the Sun brings blessings to the earth, and this card pretends blessings in your own life. Uh, just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of the divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a new baby or writing or a publication of a book, or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put the energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of the divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. Beautiful. Uh, let's read for you victory, success, and achievement. The, ch the achievement may be a great outer success, or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort toward. Enjoy this sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. 
let yourself be open to the victory on every level now being victorious on the outside as well as figuring out what's going on within you as well you know let's read for you the garden and the gate prosperity abundant and staying safe like that, that word is coming up again and again the month of june is going to be very prosperous for you i'm telling you this card upright bodies well for the financial scene in fact there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time but beware the choice is to stay in the seeming security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by the habit or a fear of the unknown the beauty is enticing and worth enjoying but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam while it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective and gain the world that is just outside your gate. Hmm. Uh, a man holding a coin. There's some sort of a male influence here. Uh, male connection in money health or value this card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or a healer whom you already know or are soon to meet this man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take so this could just be some sort of a mentor as well this card also signifies a new love interest or a wealthy man from work oh well <laughs> show me Oh, your guided message. You've been feeling like you don't have friends. Or you, you may have been feeling like people are not understanding you. But your message here is that I know that I'm never alone. And then love. I'm, I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Nice. Give me messages for Virgo. Virgo, check out the link in the description box. So know more about the person you're connecting with and if there's a new person coming your way or not. And I'm also going to be giving you messages from spirit. So do check it out. See Cupid's arrow. Have faith that love is coming. Apparently it does look like there is love coming in for you. Show me more. I miss you a lot. Mm, there's somebody who really misses you. well we will see so that's about it virgo give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link below if you're interested take care and bye, -bye.